Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. We are on our last block, block number 12 of our 2023 Sew With Me series. So I'm so excited. We are on our last block, so we are almost done with this sew along. I'm not gonna just leave you hanging, so stay tuned for the finishing video. I have really fun finishing ideas for this quilt. I also have some fun bonus projects, and I'm gonna show a couple sample layouts on how you can choose to do your quilt if you don't wanna do it the way that I am finishing it. So stay tuned for that video where I will be covering all kinds of different finishing options for all of your Sew With Me blocks. And if you're new to this channel, and you don't know what I'm talking about, we have been doing a monthly sew along starting back in January. We are sewing one quilt block every month and all of that is here on a playlist on YouTube. So you can just search my playlist and find the 2023 Sew With Me playlist. All the patterns are totally free. The videos will always be here so you can sew along at your leisure. But for now, let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at block number 12. So here's block number 12. This one turned out so cute in the Christmassy version. I'm doing all of my six and a half inch blocks in Christmas fabrics. And this one is, this is just so cute. I can't even hardly handle it. It's almost like a little present or something. I don't even know how to describe it, but this block was so much fun to make. And it's also very easy to put together. We've got our crisscross block and then some fun outer borders for it that just really, I think, make that block pop. So here's my six and a half inch Christmas version. And here is the 12 and a half inch red and white version. And I just love how these blocks turned out. I have a really easy way for you to make this center block. So don't worry. I know it looks a little complicated because it looks like it's on the diagonal, but it's super easy to put together. We're also going to be spinning our seams here at the corners so our blocks are really nice and flat. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's tutorial. So here is what block number 12 looks like. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure to download your free pattern. There is a link for this pattern below the video. You can also visit my blog and just search 2023 Sew With Me and you'll find that there. I'm going to set my block and my pattern aside and my fabric. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab our A and H squares, and we are going to create four four patch units. And they're going to look just like this. And we have done this in quite a few other blocks so far this year. So hopefully this is familiar to you, but we're going to sew these top and bottom rows together. Then we'll sew those rows together. I'm going to spin my seams in the middle, just like I have showed in previous videos. And we're gonna make four of these units. so that we can spin our seams. We're gonna press both of the units towards this darker red fabric. Now we're gonna nest this center seam. And here you can see our seams are going the opposite directions. So we can just butt those right up next to each other and just sew right along this edge. We'll have perfect points in the center. So here is our piece that's sewn together and now we just need to spin our seams. We want all of our seams going counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever way they're going, just as long as they're all going the same way. So these ones are going counterclockwise. So I'm just going to run my finger around, down, across, and back up. And when you separate those out, your seam should just pop open just like that. Super easy. And I went ahead and pressed it really quick so you can just see how nice and tidy that center is. And then look at those points look great. And we just need to make four of those. So here are all four of my corner pieces. And so we can just set those aside. Now we're going to work on our side units. So we're gonna grab our B and E rectangles. These are very easy. All we're going to do is just sew them together and you're gonna need four. And these I went ahead and pressed towards my red fabric. And those are done and ready to go. We can set those aside and now we need to work on our center. So for our center, we're gonna need our D, F, and G squares. So my G square is gonna be my center. We're gonna make a nine patch. And I'm going to place my F squares over here on the outside like that. And then we can place 
our D squares. And so we are going to sew this together. We're gonna to sew the top row, the middle row, the bottom row, and then we'll sew them all together. And every time we press for this one, we're gonna be pressing towards our darker fabrics. So here's our unit. I've pressed towards the red on all of them. And then now we just need to sew these rows together. And then I'm just making sure that my seams are nesting right here at these intersections. So I am gonna spin the seams on the back of this and I've showed it in several videos. So I've already done three of them. We're gonna do this one last one. And because I chain piece, there was a little thread here that I just snipped so that we can have access to this seam. But to, to spin your seams, you just want all your seams going in the same direction and it only works if you're nesting your seams like we did by pressing everything to the red. So these are going counterclockwise or clockwise. So we need to go to the right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull down on this one because it needs to come down and then up on this one and that sh seam should just pop right open just like that. If you have any little threads in here, you can always grab your seam ripper and just kind of get those out of the way so you get a really nice spun seam. But now we've got all four of our seams spun and we have really nice points on the front. I just need to give this a press and we'll be ready to move on. So here is our finished block. It's all nice and pressed and those seams look great. So we can set that aside and now we need to grab our C squares. There are two of them here. I just have them layered and we're gonna be trimming them on the diagonal. Now, whenever you're trimming fabric on the diagonal, I like to have it either starched or you can use Mary Ellen's Best Press. This is going to be a bias edge now and so it is a little bit stretchier. So I like using either starch or the best press. I think that really helps keep those seams from stretching too much. So I'm going to grab my longer ruler and then we're gonna cut just from corner to corner. So we're making four triangle pieces out of these two C squares. And now we're going to be sewing these triangle units on all four sides. So I, you can do one of two things. You can eyeball it. Just make sure that you have about a half an inch overlap. You can also just do a quick little press on your triangle and a quick little press on your square and then line up those creases. But we're going to do that on all four sides. So I'm first going to sew the triangles to the opposite sides and then we'll trim off those little tails that you see sticking over there. And then we'll add the other side pieces. And for these, when, once I sew along this edge, I will flip it back and just press towards the triangle unit because there's no seams on this side. So let's go ahead and take this to the machine. We'll sew right along both these edges and then we'll come and add the other two triangles to these open sides. Okay, I've gone ahead and pressed towards these outside units and now we can add our other ones. So I've just pressed that in half you can just line that right up. Alrighty, here is our center block. Now we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna turn it just 45 degrees, just like that. Next, we're gonna take our six and a half inch ruler if you're making the 12 inch block, and we're gonna line it up centering that crisscross. You can use the little white lines on the ruler. Those are the exact center of the ruler. You can also make sure your points are about a half an inch away from the outside edge of the ruler. And then we're just gonna trim this center unit down to six and a half inches. Next, we're gonna assemble our block. So we just need to place that center unit. We're gonna place our side units to each side. And like I said, you can flip these any direction you want to change the look of this block. And then we're gonna go ahead and place our four patch units up there in the corners. And I'm gonna go ahead and put mine this way, but you can turn them any way that you want and it really changes the look of our block. Once you've decided on a layout, it's time to sew our rows together. So you just need to sew that top middle and bottom rows together, and then sew all three rows together to finish up our block. And then the last step is just to trim up your square. So we're gonna trim it up to 12 and a half inches. 
All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new as always. And leave a comment below letting me know how you're doing on this series. Are you all caught up with all 12 blocks? Are you ready to put them together? The next video is going to be our finishing video. I'm gonna show you how to put all your blocks together. I do have a couple of alternate ideas on how to assemble all these blocks, especially if you've made both the six and a half and 12 and a half inch blocks. I think I have some fun ideas for those and a couple fun bonus projects too. I am hoping to get that out this month, but it may be possible that it is pushed back to January. So stay tuned for that. Don't worry, it will be coming soon. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed our sew along and I will see you in the next video.